everyone. Our friend Max the Monster Truck is here at the stadium. He's practicing jumps and flips for his new super stunt show. Max wants to attempt a 360 degree backflip. It's one of the most difficult things a monster truck can do. To perform a perfect backflip and land back on his wheels again, Max needs to flip all the way over. Not 90 degrees. Not 180 degrees. Not 270 degrees. But a full 360 degrees. That's a full circle. Max is getting into position. I think he's ready. Three, two, one. Go, Max, go! 90 degrees? 180 degrees? 270 degrees? Oh no! Oh Max, you nearly made it. But you landed very hard on your front wheels. I think you might have broken something. Let's check your steering. Okay Max, try driving in a straight line. Oh dear. Now try turning left. Oh dear, oh dear. Now try turning right. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not good. I think we need to get you to the garage right away. Hello, Tilly. Please can you come over to the stadium right away? Max needs your help. Hello Tilly, are we glad to see you. Max's front wheels don't seem right. Could you tow him to the garage please? And can you give me a lift back too? Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Max turn. Max's jump didn't go well. That landing sure looked sore. I think his axle might be bent. Let's lift him to make sure. The axle connects to the wheels and helps Mac change direction. Just look at his wheels sag. He needs closer inspection. With a broken axle, Max can't jump. This really isn't great. I'll call on the mechanicals to get that axle straight. Go, go mechanicals! There, Max is looking much better now. Well done, Mechanicals. Hmm, I think Max needs more power to complete his backflip without crashing again. I'll get the Mechanicals to fit his engine with a turbocharger. 
the turbocharger fits onto Max's engine to make him more powerful, so that he can go faster and jump further. Wow, listen to that! Sounds like Max is ready to try that jump again. Let's head back over to the stadium. Max is ready. Three, two, one, go! 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees, he's done it! A full backflip and a perfect landing. Well done, Max. I'm glad Max completed his amazing jump in the end, with a little help from his friends at Gecko's Garage. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you at the garage again soon. Bye! Hello, everyone! Tilly and I have been doing some repairs here at the school, and now it's time to head back to the garage. The Mini Mechanicals have finished school for the day too. They're waiting for Sammy the school bus to take them home. Here's Sammy now. Hello, Sammy. Ooh, that door sounds squeaky. All aboard, Mini Max. One, two, three, four, five. There. You're ready to go. Oh dear, that doesn't sound right. Poor Sammy can't open his doors. They're stuck. And the mini mechs can't get out. We need to check your electrics, Sammy. Don't try and move. You might make things worse. It's a good job I was passing by with Tilly. We'll tow you to the garage. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help. A vehicle in need. Let's all see what we can learn as we make Sammy turn. Sammy's doors won't open. The mini mechs are trapped inside. But what's wrong with Sammy? Are all his electrics fried? No, it's just his door at fault. Those hinges are all rusty. Let's get the mechs to take them off and fit ones that are more trusty. Go, go, mechanicals! Now the old doors have come off, the mini mechs can get out. But now all they want to do is play and run about. Careful now, don't touch that. Watch out for that hole. Red and green mechanical, get these kids under control. Green and red are struggling to keep those mini mechs from being silly. I think that they could use a hand from our friend Tow Truck Tilly. A cargo bed can hold them safe to stop any more fuss. So we can think of what to do to help Sammy the school bus. We need to replace those old rusty doors with smooth new ones. But while we have Sammy here at the garage, I think we should install a surprise for the mini mechs to make getting off the bus more fun. There, the doors are all fixed. And the mechanicals have added an extra something special. One, two, three, four, five. Let's drive these mini mechs home so they can try out the surprise. I'll follow you in Tilly to make sure everything's working okay.
Hee-hee! <laughs> That's right! It's a surprise slide! One, two, three, four, five! What a cool way to get off the bus! Thanks, Sammy! And thank you, Little Mechanical, for the hug. That's really very kind of you. I'm glad you like the slide. And thanks to you for joining us today. I hope you had as much fun as the Mini Mechanicals did. We'll see you again soon. Bye! Hello, everyone. Gecko here. The Mechanicals are a bit bored today. And they want to play with something. I've got a special surprise idea for them. And Eric the Excavator is going to help. We're going to turn Eric into a theme park ride. I've designed a new attachment for Eric's boom. It's a big bucket with enough seats for all of the mechanicals. Eric will be able to pick up the bucket and spin it around and around really, really fast. I call it the Excavator Rotator. Does that sound like a fun ride, Mechanicals? Do you want to help me build the new attachment? Brilliant! Let's get to work! It's finished! That looks amazing! Eric's all ready to start the ride. Are you ready, Mechanicals? Hop on board! I know you're nervous, Green, but it's perfectly safe. And you might find that you enjoy it. Go on, give it a go. I think we need a countdown from five. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! That looks like great fun! Well done, Eric! Oh dear, Lou looks very dizzy! Watch out for those tyres! Oh dear, too late. Look at that. Green loved the ride so much that she wants another go. Well done, Green, for being brave. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed seeing Eric's new attachment in action as much as we did. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone, Dr Poppy's acting very strangely today. She's asked me to come over here to the spare parts store to look for some traffic cones, but I can't find them anywhere. Hello everyone, it's Gecko's birthday today, so I'm trying to keep him away from the garage while we set up his surprise birthday party. Lots of Gecko's friends are here to help out and we have a list of things to do. We need balloons, ice cream, music, a birthday cake, games, guests, gifts and some party hats. Well, it looks as if the balloons are nearly sorted. Well done, Mechanicals! Here comes Vicky the ice cream van. 
You can't have a party without yummy ice cream. And here's Amber the ambulance. The loudspeaker on her roof will be great for playing party music. I wonder how Gecko's getting on at the spare parts store. I hope Florence is keeping him busy. This spare parts store is such a mess. I can't find those traffic cones. Let's keep looking, Florence. We have balloons, ice cream and music ticked off the list. Now we need to make a birthday cake. First, we need the ingredients. Dylan is carrying the flour. Sid has the sugar and the cocoa powder. And here comes Trevor with butter and eggs fresh from the farm. We need to mix all of the ingredients together. I know, just the mixer. Celia! Now the ingredients are mixed and poured into that giant cake tin, we need to cook the cake. Hmm, it's far too big for my kitchen oven. What are we going to do? I found this controller for the truck wash, Dr Poppy, and it appears to have a party setting on it. Shall we see what it does? Great idea, Robbo. Press the party button. <laughs> Wash has changed into a giant cake baking and decorating machine. Let's put it in. Look at that cake rise. Now the birthday cake is getting decorated. The icing is green, just like Gecko. And finally, the cake just needs a few candles. Brilliant! That's the cake done, so we're nearly ready. I wonder if Gecko has found those cones yet. <laughs> oh dear, the traffic cones are orange. We've sorted out all of the orange things, but still can't find them. Keep looking, Florence. They must be here somewhere. What do we have left on our list? Games, guests, gifts and party hats. Ah, here come the games. Ryan has a piñata filled with sweets. And Sophie has a giant parcel ready for a game of pass the parcel. And here are all the guests with their gifts for Gecko. Just the party hats left to get found them! Phew! Come on Florence, let's take all these cones back to the garage. I wonder what Dr Poppy wants them for. Shh everybody, here he comes! Three, two, one, surprise! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a lovely surprise! Thank you, everyone. What an amazing looking cake. But just one question. What did you need the traffic cones for? They make the perfect party hats for your vehicle friends, of course. <laughs> Happy birthday, Gecko. Gecko's garage today and helping us with Gecko's surprise birthday party. Bye! Bye. Oh no! Our sign's blown down in the storm. The mechanicals can fix it, but how can we get it back onto the roof? 
Hmm, I know. Caroline the Crane. She's just the vehicle for the job. Hello, Caroline. Good to see you. Now that the wind has stopped, could you please help us get our sign back onto the roof? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. There must be something wrong with your winch motor. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. Come on inside the garage. Vehicle turntable, spin, spin, spin. Let's make sad Caroline grin, grin, grin. Go, go, mechanicals. Hmm. Everything seems okay here. I think you just need some oil. We need someone who can reach. Go, go, super mechanical. There. That oil should have freed everything up. Let's test your winch. One metre, two metres, three metres, four metres, five metres. Everything seems to be working fine now. How high can you lift them, Caroline? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that high. You've crashed right through the roof. Before we get this sign back up, I think the mechanicals had better get that hole fixed. We don't want any rain getting into the garage. Now that the mechanicals have fixed the hole, reattaching the sign is our new goal. Caroline lifts it high off the ground, so people can see it for miles around. Thanks for your help with the sign, Caroline. Uh-oh, now the hole's fixed and Caroline's gone home. The mechanicals are stuck up on the roof. Let's hope they get down before the next episode. Bye! Andy the Animal Ambulance is visiting Number Zoo today. He's here to pick up a poorly monkey and take her over to Dr Poppy's Pet Rescue Centre. Oh dear, what's happened to poor Andy? He's picked up his poorly passenger, but those cheeky monkeys have torn off his flashing lights. Andy's covered in banana skins. Drive over to Gecko's Garage and we'll get you fixed up as quickly as possible. Before we can check you over, we need to clean off all those banana skins. Time for a quick trip through the truck and car wash. That's better. Now we can see the damage those pesky monkeys have caused. Come into the garage and we'll take a good look at you. Those naughty monkeys. Your wipers and mirrors have been torn off, as well as your flashing lights. Talking of monkeys, we'd better check on your patient. Go, go, mechanicals! Oh no! The patient isn't here. She must have escaped. She's not in the ambulance. Where can she have gone? Hey, put that down. No, that's very expensive. Catch that monkey. 
Oh dear, I think I'll have to call Dr Poppy for help. Hello Gecko, is everything okay? How's that sore arm of yours healing? Oh fine, thanks to you Dr Poppy. But I have another problem right now. Andy the animal ambulance is in the garage for repairs, but the patient he was bringing to you has escaped and she's wrecking my garage. That sounds like Mabel the monkey. She is a cheeky monkey. Can you catch her? She's too fast and she's throwing things around like crazy. Try playing some gentle music to calm her down. Then put some bananas into the back of the ambulance and she might go back in by herself. OK. Thanks, Dr Poppy. We'll give that a try. Bye. That monkey is a handful, even though her tail is floppy. But she's safely back where she belongs. All thanks to Dr Poppy. The mechanicals have fixed you up. They work hard without fail. Now it's off to the pet rescue centre to fix that monkey's tail. Welcome to my pet rescue centre. It's a hospital just for poorly pets. Let's see what's wrong with Mabel, shall we? Here she comes down our conveyor belt now. Robbo, what can you tell us about Mabel? Mabel is a type of monkey called a spider monkey. Spider monkeys spend most of their time up in trees and they use their long tail like another arm to grab on and swing from branches. Thanks Robbo, but oh look, there seems to be something wrong with her tail. There appears to be a knot in her tail. One of those other cheeky monkeys must have played a trick on her. Naughty monkeys. Robbo, how are you with knots? Perfect. Mabel, you have your tail back. Hey! It looks like Mabel is back to her old self again. What a fabulous day in the treatment room. See you next time. Bye! Hello everyone. Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane has just knocked down a load of old buildings. My cleanup crew are here to clear the construction site, ready to build some colourful new houses. construction site isn't a safe place to play. You're supposed to be working as a team, helping your friends to clear the site. They can't do it without you. It's time to get back to work, please. Danny the Digger is using his giant shovel to push the rubble into larger piles. Eric the Excavator is using his bucket to lift the rubble up and load it into Dylan the dump truck. And Yellow Mechanical is making sure the trucks are working together as a team. Now Dylan is fully loaded, he's driving the rubble over to the recycling centre these old bricks will be smashed up into smaller pieces to help build new roads. Some of them will be ground into dust and used to make new bricks. Brilliant! Fantastic! Good work, everyone! By working together and helping each other, you got the site cleared. Thanks for visiting us today. It's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone! Gecko here! The construction trucks are busy building a brand new play area at the school today. 
Great work, Blue Mechanical. That new rainbow paint mixer's working brilliantly. Oh dear, Blue. I think I might have spoken too soon. Celia the cement mixer's on her way, with lots of concrete mixing in her drum. Celia's drum keeps spinning, round and round and round. It keeps the concrete nice and soft, until it's in the ground. The mechanicals have a secret plan, to make the ground less boring. Here we go, this is the spot, Celia can start pouring. Oh dear, Celia, stop! What's wrong, Red Mechanical? Celia, apparently your concrete's the wrong colour. You need lots of different coloured concrete. How on earth are we going to do that, I wonder? That's it! Blue Mechanical, please can we borrow your new rainbow paint mixer? Now, with a little alteration, we can attach the paint mixer onto Celia, connect the pipe to the drum, hmm, and yes, brilliant! I think that's it. Okay, let's test this out. Let's try mixing some red concrete. You help me. What colour is the mechanical holding up? Yes, that's right. It's orange. That's looking great. What colour's this? Yes, that's right. Let's have yellow now, please, Celia. What colour's next? Brilliant! Next up is green. There's another colour. Which one's this? Can you say it with me? Blue! Yes! It's time for blue! Beautiful. I think we're nearly there. This next colour has a tricky name. It's called indigo. And finally, do you know this one? It's called violet, but between you and me, it looks a lot like purple. Fantastic work, Celia, and a great team effort from everyone. Look at that! We've made a beautiful rainbow on the playground floor. The mini mechanicals are going to love this. Don't you just love happy endings? Thanks very much to you for helping us out today. We'll see you again soon at Gecko's Garage. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Rebecca the Recycling Truck and her team of mechanicals are so busy today. There's bins all over town waiting to be emptied. Oh dear! I think Rebecca wants to help her team, but she doesn't have the right tools to do it. Come over to the garage right away, Rebecca. I've got a bright idea. We can fit Rebecca with a new tool to help her collect the recycling. With a super powerful electromagnet, Rebecca will be able to lift the bins up all by herself. 
garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Brilliant, Rebecca. Why don't you go and try it out? Magnet on. The metal pin emptied. Magnet off. This is working perfectly. Magnet on. Hmm, that's odd. Rebecca can't seem to pick up the other bins. Of course! Rebecca's magnet doesn't work on the paper, glass and plastic bins. Magnets only work on metal things. Like the mechanicals. Oh no! Rebecca, come back to the garage. Quickly! I know you want to pick up that plastic bottle from the river, but it's not metal, so your magnet wouldn't work. Don't worry, Rebecca. I've had another idea. We'll swap your magnet for this orange grabber and green robotic arm. There! That's much better. That orange grabber should work on all the bins, not just the metal one. And your robot arm should help you collect any loose bits of rubbish. Fantastic! Rebecca's new tools work a treat. Now she can help her team collect the recycling in double quick time. Thanks everyone for watching and don't forget to recycle. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane is smashing an old wall at the construction site today. And here comes Rick the Road Roller. I don't think he's looking where he's going. Look out, Rick! Uh-oh! Too late! Ooh, what a nasty smash! The mechanicals are getting the garage ready for our poorly friend, Rick the Road Roller. Rick carries a big heavy drum in front of him which he uses to flatten roads. That makes them nice and smooth. Rick's drum should be a cylinder shape, but that smash from Ryan has made it go all wonky. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Rick. Wow, you really do have a problem today. Your drum is all broken and twisted. I think it needs replacing. Let's fit you a new one. Oh, Rick, what a mess you've got yourself in. Your drum's all twisted, and now it won't spin. We'll find a nice new drum just for you. Let's fix you up. There, good as new. Hmm, that new drum doesn't look like the old cylinder. I think that's a sphere. A sphere is different from a circle. A circle is round and flat. A sphere is round, but solid, just like a ball. Let's test it out. I don't think this sphere is the right shape for Rick's drum. It's making Rick all dizzy and confused. Let's go back inside and try again. Don't worry, Rick. No need to fear. The mechs will soon replace that sphere. 
Swap out the drum and look at that. A cylinder whose sides are flat? Oh dear mechanicals, that's not a cylinder shape. It's a cuboid. A cylinder has to be round. Rip can't roll a road using a shape with flat sides. All that thumping is giving Rick a headache. Now the mechs know what to avoid. Drums that are spherical or cuboid. What's this drum they're trying to wrangle? I don't like the look of that triangle. That triangular prism isn't right either. Mechanicals, are you trying to make Rick crash? Oops, too late. There we go. That's a cylinder and it fits just right. The rounded shape is perfect for Rick to move around on and roll things flat. Rick, if you wouldn't mind just smoothing out the damage to the car park before you head off, that would be much appreciated. Let's hope you won't be needing a new cylinder anytime soon, Rick. We need you out there rolling our roads. Thanks for helping me out today at Gecko's Garage. Join me next time when we help another vehicle in need. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Millie the police motorbike has had to stop Larry the lorry. He delivers parcels and packages all over the country. He looks so full, his sides might burst. Millie needs to escort Larry to Gecko's garage so that we can help him. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help, a vehicle in need. Hiya Larry, it looks like you're carrying too many packages and they haven't been loaded very well. Shall we take a look? Go, go, Mechanicals! What a mess. I'm really sorry, but that's no way to pack a lorry. Let's take some time and care with it. I'm sure we'll make these boxes fit. The biggest parcel should go in first. With the smallest one on top. That blue parcel on the left. And the red one on the right. Let's put this parcel in the gap up at the top. And put the last parcel in that gap down at the bottom. There, all sorted. Now that everything is packed away neatly, it all fits in properly. See you again soon, Larry. Good luck with all your deliveries. Thanks for helping me out today at Gecko's Garage. Join me next time when we help another vehicle in need. Bye! Hello, everyone. Fiona, the fire truck's at the garage today. She's having her yearly checkup. Yes, Blue, there is a lot to do. It's going to take all day. Mm hmm. If Fiona is here all day, what's going to happen if she's called to an emergency? What's that, Red? You've got a friend who'd like to volunteer for firefighting duty. Brilliant! Where is this new friend of yours? I'm really excited about meeting this shiny new fire truck. I wonder when she's going to get here. 
Oh, she's here already. Uh, hello. You must be Maggie. Maggie the mini fire truck. Hehe, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was expecting someone a little <laughs> bigger. Ah! <laughs> yes. Stop, stop. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Red. I'm sorry, Maggie. It was mean of me to laugh at you because of your size. Thanks for offering to help today. A fire? At the farm? You'd better get going. Good luck, everyone. Hello Maggie. Hello Red. Hello Blue. You look worn out after such a busy day on firefighting duty. What a fantastic job you've done covering for Fiona. Even though you're tiny, you were a massive help today. Now Fiona's as good as new, she can't wait to get back to work. And Maggie's going to make a fantastic addition to the firefighting crew. You'd best get going. See you both again soon. I hope you enjoyed meeting our new friend Maggie today. She showed me that even the smallest people can make the biggest difference. For now, it's Cheerio from Gecko. Bye! Hello everyone! Gecko here! It's the end of a long day here at the garage, and the mechanicals are getting ready for bed. Oh, Blue Mechanical, are you okay? Oh dear, it looks like there's a leak in the garage roof. We'd better go up there and fix it. Mechanicals, I need a volunteer to come and help me out please. Thanks, Blue. Yikes! It's very rainy out here. Be careful, Blue. I think there's a storm coming. Ah! Oh no! Blue Mechanical's been struck by lightning! Are you okay, Blue? Come on over and let's get you into the garage and check you out. Poor old Blue Mechanical. It must have been very frightening. One minute you're working on the roof, the next you're struck by lightning. Your friends have checked you over and listened to you whir and beep. Now they think you're probably okay. You just need a good night's sleep. Good morning everyone. It's another beautiful day at Gecko's Garage after the storm last night. How are you feeling, Blue Mechanical? There's no time for a break here at the garage. Here comes Max the monster truck. Max wants to go faster in his stunt show, so we're going to make some enhancements. Welcome, Max. With these changes we're going to make today, you're going to go as fast as lightning! Now, where 
did I put that screwdriver? Is it in this toolbox? No. In this drawer? No. Hmm. I really must get more organised. Now, where is it? Hmm. Max? Where's your wheel gone? Well, that is a mystery, Max. I'm sure it'll turn up. But in the meantime, let's paint a new design on you. How about a lightning bolt? Blue? Blue? Are you okay, Blue Mechanical? Wah! Blue! What's got into you? Wah! Stop that right now, Blue! Why are you being so naughty? Oh no! Look at the mess that Naughty Blue Mechanicals made! He's malfunctioning! That means something is terribly wrong with his onboard computer! Blue! Look at the damage you've done! How are we ever going to repair this? Oh, Blue, it's okay. We'll get to the bottom of the problem. I wonder if the malfunction was caused by that bolt of lightning last night. Oh, no! Not again! Oh, dear! He's on the loose and he could be anywhere! Mechanicals, we need to do everything we can to stop Blue. Go, go, Helen! Look, Mechanicals! There goes Millie the police motorbike! She's been called to an emergency! I just wonder it's something to do with our blue friend. Let's follow her. Oh, look! Blue Mechanicals causing all sorts of trouble at the construction site. Gotcha! Come on, Naughty Blue. Let's head back to the garage and get you back to your old self again. Mechanicals, can you stay here and repair Rick and Celia, please? Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help. A mechanical in need. We must fix Blue Mech's problem. This really can't go on. Some of the time he seems fine, but then he goes all wrong. He's really been so bad today, and not just once or twice. Something's made him naughty when he's usually so nice. There's something up with his computer code. It's just one word that activates his mischief mode. Can you help me? What is the word on the screen? I can't say it in case Blue turns naughty again, but you can. If you can shout it out, then maybe we can help. Shout it out! Yes! You're right! I'll do some quick programming to remove the mischief mode from Blue's system. Now, let's try saying that word again together. Ready? Lightning! <coughs> Hooray! You're cured, Blue! Thanks for your help on that! That's okay, Blue. Thank you for saying sorry. Look at all this mess. And poor old Max is still without his wheel. Look, Blue. Our friends have arrived to help tidy up the mess. And Red Mechanical has found your wheel, Max. That's what friends are for. It's amazing what you can achieve when friends all pull together. 
What you did was very naughty, Blue. But the most important thing is you said sorry and repaired the damage that you caused. Wow, what a day here at Gecko's Garage. We'll see you again next time. Bye!